Hello everyone and welcome to Monkeyfish channel. In today's video let's talk about falling techniques. So maybe you are not a glapper but it doesn't mean that you should not know how to fall and if you train striking arts like karate or kickboxing you have a sweeps and takedowns over there so maybe it's a good idea to know how to fall correctly so you will not injure yourself and you can still keep fighting and you don't have to know all falling techniques two of them is enough backwards and to the side this two is completely enough so let's get started I know that for some people falling might be scary so we're going to start from the low position and go higher and higher and for step number one it's really simple you have to just do like this and roll backwards this is step number one I know it might look silly but for some people even this step is difficult so Slowly, one more time, just roll backwards. And you, when you feel comfortable with this, you can go for the next step. A lot of people teach different ways of doing this fall. I will show you one, uh, which I think is good to start with, but I prefer a different one. So, this is how it is. You just go backwards, boom. So you have to lift your butt up and here the important part is to keep your chin close to your chest like this because we want to avoid this effect so when you fall boom you will not hit your head on the ground so when you're falling it's important to keep your chin to your chest boom always Lift your butt to secure your spine and hit with your arms to absorb the impact. So, you go, boom, something like this. It's important that when you slap with your arms, it's going somewhere here, not too close to your body, not too far from your body, somewhere between. And important is that you slap here, not like this, not like this, not karate chop, flat hand. So, you go, boom, keep your chin down, lift your butt and slap the ground. This is how it is. I prefer different way of doing that. I prefer to roll all the way, so if I fall, I prefer this way. I think it's more soft but in the end of the day they are quite the same because here I break in all movement and I lift in my butt up and when I do my way I also lift in my butt up so in the end of the day it's quite similar and it's the same technique everything is about keeping your chin close to your chest so you will not hit with your head and yeah, if you feel comfortable with this step, then you can go for another one. The next step is to do it in the movement. So you make one or few steps backwards, slowly. One, two, and boom, like this. And then again, one, two, and oh, boom. Oh, like this. It's a little bit more scary for some people, but this is how it is. One, two, something like this. You can decide which way you like more. I prefer to roll all the way. So one, two, I prefer like this. So the next step, it will be that you have to fall over something so you can train this with your friend or alone here i am alone so i'm going to use this big punching bag just to show you the exercise what you can do by yourself so in this exercise we're going to fall over something if you have a partner then he have to be in the turtle position and you have to just sit on his back and fall backwards 
or if you are alone like me here today then you can use something like this punching bag or something else to just sit on it go it a bit backwards and just fall back down this is how you train it's more natural because here you have this seconds that you don't have a control what's happening and it's more natural and this is how it is when somebody you know throwing you or sweeping you so here just sit on something and just go and fall something like this and this is pretty much it of course you can do more crazy stuff later when you feel comfortable with this kind of thing let's go for the side fall so in my personal opinion the easiest way how to learn it is from sitting position put your one leg forward and just lay down like this so I think this is the easiest way so here if this is comfortable for you then now let's go for some more details so again like before when you fall you have to try to put your chin to your chest because we don't want to do this boom we don't want to fall like this boom so we have to try to keep our chin close to our chest so when you fall boom like this the best is when you just look in somewhere over there because then you force yourself to keep your chin close something like this and then again we're going to hit the ground to absorb some impact and break the fall so boom. Boom. and again with the hand not too far not too close I when I have to explain to somebody I always showing that you have to point the same direction like your leg something like this and so it's not here it's not here you can see it is not here it's like this in the same direction like your leg so when you feel comfortable with this one then you have to do exactly the same thing but from this position whoa One more time. Ooh. Something like this. So, this is step number two. Step number three, of course, is in the movement. So, next step, it will be the same technique, but in the movement. So, it looks like this. That you go forward, one, two, three, whoop. And here, some people like to teach that you should break the fall completely so it's like this home but I prefer to roll for me it's more natural so one two three boom I like to do like this but you can decide what you prefer so one more time one side whoop another side whoop something like this so this exercise is not perfect but you're still going to learn something from it so the same like in the back fall you're going to sit on your partner's back or on this punching bag or wherever and just go backwards but instead of landing on your back you have to fall to the side so you're landing boom like this still try to keep your chin close to the chest and do the same technique what we did before so falling something like this so small detail about this side fall is and not so many people actually tell you this before and then you have to find out by yourself and it's not nice so i will tell you right away so when you do side fall is important to land like this or even like this some people actually teach you to do like this but 
do like this, like this, but never like this. Why? Because when you train, you have a control of this, on this. But when somebody going to throw you, and this is we are throw, and your legs going to just slide like this and slap each other, it's really not nice for this area. So <laughs> this thing is not so good. It's not so comfortable in, in this area. So just look out for this because maybe you might need those parts in the future. So yeah, uh, next step is going to be that you have to train this with your partner that you, somebody going to throw you and then you have to train and train and master these foreign techniques so you're going to do them always like this. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some small compilation of my falls from fights, from fight scenes or just from the training so you can see how they look in the real life. Okay, I have nothing more to say, so I hope that you enjoyed this kind of content and that I help you a little bit with something and this is it. Thank you for watching, see you next time.